Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install Windows 10 or 11 ARM on a Microsoft Lumia 950 or 950 XL. Note that this is an experimental project and such a device should not be used in a daily driver setting. This will be a long tutorial, so fasten your seatbelts because this will take a while, especially if not done correctly. Before we start, here's a very important warning. I'm not responsible for data loss or hard brick devices. Please do your research if you have any concerns about this tutorial or the Lumia Windows on ARM project and its features. You are choosing to make these modifications to your device, and if you point the finger at me for messing up your phone, I will laugh at you. In addition, this software has not been approved for use with emergency services. By installing this software, you agree to not use it as your primary phone due to possible disruption in emergency service access. This tutorial will be separated into multiple sections. First, we will need to unlock the Lumia phone bootloader. Second, we will need to create our Windows 10 or 11 ARM ISO. And thirdly, we need to deploy Windows 10 or 11 to the Lumia device. What you'll need for this tutorial are the following. Obviously, a Microsoft Lumia 950 or 950 XL, a device running Windows 10 or 11, Windows device recovery tool, which provides us with the Windows Phone flashing drivers, Windows Phone Internals, which is a third-party program that allows the end user to easily flash Windows Phone firmware to Lumia, and the Lumia Windows on ARM deployer. Let's start with the first step, which is unlocking the Lumia bootloader. So the way this works is the Windows Phone Internals program will try to find a flashing profile on the device. You will need an original firmware image for your specific device model and a .ede emergency bootloader file as well. First, you'll have to reboot your phone into flash mode via WP internals. Once you have done this, select your firmware and EDE files and you can now unlock the bootloader. This process can take three to five minutes and at one point, the device will enter UEFI mass storage mode. Once WP internals tells you that you must manually reboot your phone, hold down the power button until the phone vibrates and then the rest of the unlock process will take place. Once that's completed, we can now proceed to step two of this tutorial. Step two, creating our Windows 10 or 11 ISO and extracting the install image from it. To create our ISO, we need to go on a website called UUP Dump. This website allows users to create a script to download Windows installer files directly from Microsoft servers at ease. In my case, we're gonna be downloading the recently added ARM64 build of Windows 11 version 23H2 build 22631. Be aware that you'll not be able to run any Windows 11 builds that are 25188 or above, due to the fact that these builds require ARM version 8.1, while the Lumia 950 series only supports ARM v8. For Windows 10 ARM64, you can simply select any build of 19045 or below. I'm going to be downloading the Windows Pro installer, and once we click next, we can go ahead and create the download package. Once you extract the zip file to a folder, we need to double click on the script file that says UUP underscore download underscore windows. This will begin the automated download and compilation process of the Windows ISO. Once that is complete, you'll have to mount the ISO on Windows Explorer and copy the install.wim or install.esd file to a folder of your choice. That file is what we're gonna be using to deploy Windows on the Lumia. The last step involves using the Lumia Windows on ARM deployer to install Windows 10 or 11 to your Lumia device that's connected to your computer. What we'll need to do is open the Windows on ARM deployer app, which will tell you the usual disclaimer notices which I've already mentioned at the start of this video. When you select your install.wim or install.esd file, you will most likely encounter the invalid wim file error, which tells you it cannot read the metadata from it. But this is easy to fix because we can easily patch the WIM or ESD file using a DISM command as an admin, which will allow the deployer to properly detect the WIM. We're gonna call it install2.esd compared to the original file, which is called install.esd. If you're using a WIM file, we can just call it install2.wim. Now, when you select this newly created WIM or ESD file, we should get the specific SKU pop-up, which in this case is Windows 11 Pro build 22631. At this point, we need to go back into Windows Phone internals and switch our Lumia device to UEFI mass storage mode, which we will do right now. Once you're in mass storage mode, we can now click the deploy button. 
It will take a few minutes to download important resources, then it will install the developer menu on your device. This is very important as it will allow a much faster deployment of Windows 10 or 11 on your Lumia device when you load mass storage mode from the developer menu. On your Lumia device, hold down the power button for 10 seconds until it vibrates and when you see the Windows Boot Manager, use the volume up or down button to select the developer menu. Then you can enter the developer menu by pressing the camera button. Choose mass storage mode and then the rest of the deployment will happen with faster speed. This process will take a while, so feel free to take a break until the deployment is complete. Once the deployment is complete, hold down the power button to reboot it and let it boot normally into Windows 10 or 11 ARM for the final stage of installation. During this process, it is very important that you do not unplug your Lumia whatsoever until the phone has reached the 00BE setup. Because if you do, the device might think it has low battery and will not proceed with the setup. In the 00BE setup, set up the device like you would normally set up a computer. And that's about it. This is how you can install Windows 10 or 11 ARM on a Lumia 950 or 950 XL. Thank you all for watching.